Welcome to a journey through time where we explore the fascinating history of refrigeration. We know where the history started and where it is going today. Town Appliance has been in business since 1979, bringing a wealth of experience to the selection of home appliances. Long before the convenience of modern appliances, humans sought innovative ways to preserve their food using the cooling powers of nature. The history of refrigeration began over 2,000 years ago. Ancient civilizations, recognizing food spoilage as a major threat, turned to their natural surroundings for solutions, employing various curing techniques. Some used salting to remove moisture and prevent bacterial growth on meat. Others used fermenting or smoking to preserve their food. And those in northern colder climates utilized snow and ice for the same purpose. As centuries passed, methods of preserving perishables evolved significantly. Ancient civilizations used ice houses, along with techniques like evaporation cooling, to preserve food and cool air. In later centuries, particularly before industrialization, the practice became more structured. Ice was harvested from lakes and rivers that naturally froze in the winter. Using large saws and horses, workers cut this ice into large blocks and transported them to ice houses for storage. The ice was often covered with sawdust, a very effective insulator, to maintain the chilly interiors of these structures. This allowed for the ice to be preserved for months, even into the warmer seasons, and it was then delivered to customers who needed it for cooling and preservation purposes. Canning, a method pioneered in the 1790s by French confectioner Nicolas Appert, also emerged as a significant food preservation technique. Appert discovered that applying heat to food in sealed glass bottles prevented deterioration, providing yet another way to keep food fresh. The icebox, invented in the early 1800s, revolutionized domestic food storage but didn't become widely used until the late 1800s. These early refrigerators were simple wooden boxes lined with tin or zinc and insulated with materials such as seaweed, sawdust, or cork. A large block of ice placed in a compartment within the box cooled the air around it, thus preserving the food stored inside. Although effective, this method required frequent replacement of the ice block, especially during warmer weather. Initially, natural ice was used, delivered by ice companies via horse-drawn wagons on a regular schedule. On the designated day, the ice man would bring the block into the residence and place it in the ice box. However, after the invention of artificial refrigeration, artificial ice began to be used as a substitute when natural ice wasn't available or affordable. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, concerns about pollution and health, unreliable early manufacturing technology, and regular ice shortages led to increased demand for plant ice. Advances in technology eventually produced higher quality artificial ice, and by 1914, artificial ice had overtaken natural ice in the United States, with 26 million tons being manufactured compared to the 24 million tons harvested from lakes and ponds. This period also marked the beginning of artificial refrigeration, laying the foundation for the modern refrigeration systems we use today. The first artificial refrigeration system was demonstrated in 1748 by William Cullen at the University of Glasgow, Scotland. However, it wasn't until much later that this technology would be refined for commercial and domestic use. In his demonstration, Cullen used a pump to create a vacuum over a container of diethyl ether. As the diethyl ether began to boil, it absorbed heat from the surrounding environment, causing the area to cool. In 1805, American inventor Oliver Evans described a closed vapor compression refrigeration cycle that could produce ice by ether under vacuum. By 1820, British scientist Michael Faraday had successfully liquefied ammonia and other gases using high pressures and low temperatures. Then, in 1834, Jacob Perkins built the first working vapor compression refrigeration system, closed cycle device capable of operating continuously. Innovations in mechanical refrigeration accelerated throughout the 19th century, with inventors like Carl von Linde advancing the technology that would form the basis of modern refrigeration. Linde's first major breakthrough came in 1876 with the production of an ammonia refrigerator, which was significantly more efficient than the compression machine introduced by Perkins in 1834. By 1908, the Linde Company had sold 2,600 machines, 
over half of which were purchased by breweries. Linda also developed a successful domestic version of the refrigerator. In 1894, the Hungarian inventor and industrialist Istvan Ruck engineered a large industrial ammonia refrigerator powered by electric compressors. Later, in 1914, engineer Nathaniel B. Wales proposed a design for a functional refrigeration unit. This design would eventually serve as the foundation for the development of the Kelvinator. By 1918, Kelvinator had introduced the first refrigerator with automatic controls, capturing almost 80% of the market. By the 1920s, companies like Frigidaire, a subsidiary of General Motors, began mass-producing refrigerators that featured compressors and cooling systems entirely contained within one unit, signaling the end of the traditional icebox era. The evolution of the refrigerator continued through the mid-20th century with rapid technological advances and changing consumer preferences. The 1950s and 60s saw refrigerators becoming a common fixture in households, reflecting broader economic prosperity and the rise of consumer culture. These decades also introduced varying styles and colors, from the iconic pastels of the 1950s to the bold colors of the 1970s. By the 1980s, the focus in refrigerator design had shifted towards energy efficiency. Driven by advances in insulation materials and compressor technology, that significantly reduced the amount of energy required to keep food cold. The introduction of the Energy Star rating system in the 1990s further emphasized this shift, rewarding appliances that met stringent energy efficiency criteria. Today, refrigerators are a far cry from their humble beginnings. Modern refrigerators boast features that enhance usability and efficiency, such as programmable temperatures, frost-free operation, and smart systems that can be controlled via smartphone. Innovations like indoor ice systems, customizable humidity zones, and energy-efficient designs showcase the tremendous progress. The refrigerator's journey from ancient ice pits to today's high-tech appliances highlights a remarkable evolution of human ingenuity and adaptability. What began as a simple need to preserve food has spurred centuries of technological advancements, culminating in the sophisticated, indispensable kitchen appliances we rely on today.